So Spencer. Yes. Talk about the merging of these two films, Split yeah. and Unbreakable, to make Glass. It is so wild to be coming <laughs> back and doing this character again because, I mean, neither of us expected to be back doing this movie, but I certainly didn't because, you know, Knight had talked about it publicly about wanting to do a, a sequel, and S Sam had been very vocal about it. Um, You're so polite. Sam had been like, very oh, vocal We're making about this movie. It. I make this <laughs> yeah. Movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just never expected to this long after the fact be revisiting this character and, and working with these people in this, this capacity again. So it was pretty special, both as an actor and, and personally. So. That's great. And Anya, being able to bring this character back and just talk about how this film approaches superheroes from a completely different place. I think Knight's very grounded in his understanding of superheroes in this movie. He's really wanting to take, okay, if we live in the world as we know it, what would it take to make somebody a superhero? Like, let's not say that they fly, but maybe they're extra strong or their bones are really fragile and that's a super, like, power in itself. And I think he really believes in the extraordinary within each human being. And so in our film, I don't think that it's just the people that have a natural abilities that are the superheroes in this film. You know, Casey has her compassion. You have your belief. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of the characters have some trait that makes them extraordinary. I love it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I really do. Was there a scene that you guys shot, um, and maybe you each have a separate one, um, that just really had an impact on you, a lasting impact? Too many. So um, many, yeah. You, you go. Okay. Um, I mean, again, there's so many, but I, I know <laughs> for me, um, like, um, I remember walking into um, Dunn Security to the security store where we both work, and it, it was the second day of shooting, and it was my, my first uh, scene with, with Bruce, and it just felt really right. And we'd done a, a quick scene before that, the day before, with that just didn't have a lot of dialogue, but that was just, I don't know, to have Knight really be directing and hands-on, um, it was cool. That's, I think that for me, like uh, lots of little moments sunk in that like this was actually happening. And I think that was like a really, a really big one for me. Yeah. yeah. And um, I mean, personally, it, it will have to be the, um, the last scene that James and I have together in the movie that was incredibly uh, personally cathartic and, um, it just felt weighty. Like the two of us looked at each other and we were like, oh, okay, wow, that was that was intense. Um, but my favorite moment will have to be sitting behind Knight and watching the three, you know, big bad boys getting all together and just being like, dude, this is whack. Like yeah. that was fun. That was really fun. And it just it, it just it just felt epic. That's what it felt like. Totally. Yeah. 